News every 15 minutes, weather every 10, and sports twice an hour. News Talk KGVO, AM 1290 and 98.3 FM. You're listening to Montana Morning with Peter Christian. Are wildfires as damaging as hurricanes? Good morning, everyone. Montana Morning for Thursday, September 7th, 2017. Right now, the sky is very smoky. We have uh, unhealthy air quality throughout western Montana yet again. It's uh, smoky and 52 degrees in Missoula right now. There is an air quality alert. Our newscast this morning, sponsored by First Montana Bank, your home for free centennial checking, unlimited cash back whenever you use your debit card. Before we get to our top story, this just in a few moments ago, there has been what is possibly a fatal accident at the intersection of South and Reserve, Emergency vehicles are on the scene. Northbound lanes of reserve were blocked off as of a few moments ago as the investigation is underway. We're awaiting a call from the Missoula Police Department to get more details on what, again, may be a fatal accident at South and Reserve. While the U.S. House gathered to pass an $8 billion relief package for areas impacted by Hurricane Harvey yesterday, Montana Congressman Greg Gianforte reminded the body that Montana was suffering from a natural disaster as well and is also in need of help. We have 44 fires who burned over 800,000 acres in Montana. It is catastrophic. In fact, I stood up in front of all my colleagues this morning here in, in Washington and made them aware of the devastation. And my, I sent my thoughts and prayers out to the people devastated by the hurricane. But I said to them that we have an equally devastating crisis in Montana right now from an air quality perspective, a loss of habitat for wildlife, and uh, just the cost to all of our businesses that are constrained. Gianforte serves on the House Natural Resources Committee. It says there are currently five bills that would change the Endangered Species Act. He says too much money is being spent by the Forest Service on firefighting, but more should be done to improve forest management. We need reform in the Endangered Species Act and also in the Equal Access to Justice so we can get forest management approved. If we actually managed our forest, we'd have healthier forests, there'd be more wildlife, more hunting opportunities, recreational opportunities, as well as jobs in our mills, and we'd have less severe and less often fires. Last week, Gianforte wrapped up a 56-county tour of the state. His stop in Missoula County was at the Lolo Peak Fire with Department of Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue and Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke. Perdue's presence is a strong sign that change may be in the works for the Forest Service. Smoke in western Montana has been especially bad this week. And according to air quality meteorologist Kristen Martin, it's not likely to get better for many days. We've got a ridge of high pressure over us right now that is causing the smoke from the area fires to just sit right near the surface. So we've got real widespread unhealthy to hazardous air quality across northwest and west central Montana. Expecting that to to linger through most of this week. We've also had a lot of smoke coming over from those big fires in Oregon and Washington and northern California. Martin said the smoke from those fires should begin to mix down, decreasing air quality even further the next few days. The really depressing news, smoke is now expected to be with us at least for another month. September isn't looking too good. Uh, The long-term forecast doesn't have much precipitation in there, and what what we really are looking for is um, a season-ending type of event that brings a lot of rain and snow into the mountains um, that can kind of quiet all of this fire activity. And, and right now it's looking less likely that will happen in September and more likely early October. Martin says there may be a chance for some smoke to clear out over the weekend, but she's not optimistic about that. The University of Montana Presidential Search Committee has narrowed the field of candidates for president to four individuals who will all be making campus visits in the next few weeks. Commissioner of Higher Education Clayton Christian said the cream of the crop will be visiting Missoula. We're just absolutely thrilled with the quality of the pool that we had to select from and the four individuals that we've asked to come to campus are just outstanding, kind of a diverse background on each of them, a little little something different to offer and we're looking forward to uh, a public process for the interviews starting the week of the 18th. They'll be on campus. Commissioner Christian is enthusiastic about all four finalists. One of the things that we've identified, certainly dynamic, energetic, visionary sort of leadership role at the University of Montana, that was highlighted in our prospectus. I think the committee was very aware of that and what they could bring to the table in terms of leadership. The four finalists are Dr. Myrta Martin, Andrew Hale Feinstein from San Jose State, Seth Bodner, a Green Beret who graduated first in his class at West Point, he's also taught there, and Dr. Charles Ambrose, president of the University of Central Missouri. See photos and bios of all the finalists on our website at newstalkkgvo.com. 
Evacuation orders were lifted on some Montana fires, but some residents who returned home are being warned to prepare to leave again if necessary. Missoula County Sheriff's Office downgraded a mandatory evacuation order for part of Sealy Lake, as we reported yesterday, while the Hill County Sheriff lifted evacuation orders on a fire in the Bear Paw Mountains. Meanwhile, near Lolo, over 1,100 structures are under an evacuation warning, but there are no evacuation orders in place at this time. Some evacuation orders were made in effect near Lincoln, where four cabins burned over the weekend. Some residents were allowed to return to their homes on Tuesday evening, but they were asked to remain ready to leave on short notice. Warm weather is forecast for the rest of the week. Vast stands of dead timber in the western U.S. have forced firefighters to shift tactics, trying to stay out of the shadow of lifeless, unstable trees that could come crashing down with deadly force. U.S. Forest Service statistics compiled for the Associated Press show that about 6.3 billion dead trees are still standing in 11 western states, up from 5.8 billion five years ago. Two firefighters, of course, have been killed this summer in Missoula by what are called falling snags. With Montana experiencing so many wildfires this season, hunters need to check carefully which areas are closed due to fire danger. Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks spokesperson Vivica Krauser said yesterday there are definite access limitations for hunters this season. The seasons are opening as planned. Hunting districts are open as planned. But where you start to see impacts to hunters is when there's land closures. And we do have a number of them. It started really with some of our federal lands, BLM and Forest Service lands that have closed areas or roads that are, are closed or restricted. Krauser listed some recent private land closures. This week we saw the addition of some private timber company lands, Weyerhaeuser and Stimson, for example, closing because of the extreme fire conditions. And for years, and, and they still do keep most of those lands open to public access, although they're, they're private lands, and so that really will impact a lot of hunters' plans. Krauser was also concerned about the area of fires devastating winter range needed for the wildlife in western Montana. The Blackfoot Clearwater Wildlife Management Area, and that's a spot that's an important winter range for, for deer and elk especially. If we do see fire start to, to burn onto the wildlife management area, that would be one spot where we could see wildlife impacted right away this winter. For information on which areas are closed to hunters this season, click the link on our website at newstalkkgvo.com. Once again, there has been an accident. It may be a fatality uh, at, uh, at at South and Reserve, and uh, part of north uh, the northbound lanes of Reserve were blocked off just a few minutes ago. The police are on the scene, as, uh, as well as emergency vehicles. If you can avoid the area, please do so. Our News Talk time is 612. News Talk, KGVO. Missoula's official weather station. Smoky sunshine today with our high temperatures right around the 80 degree mark. Winds will be fairly light at 3 to 6 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear. Low temperatures will drop into the mid-50s. Isolated thunder threat Friday and Saturday. I'm meteorologist Brooke Foster, KECI 13.